Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Sabru Beer, the local beer, perfect for sipping by the beach. Sabru is the flagship beer of Seychelles, an island nation located in the Indian Ocean. It's the most popular and widely consumed beer in the country. Sabru is known for its refreshing taste, making it a popular choice for locals and tourists looking to quench their thirst in the tropical climate of Seychelles. Key Characteristics of Sabru Beer Lager Beer Sabru is a lager-style beer, which is known for its clean, crisp, and refreshing taste. It's typically light to medium-bodied. Flavor Profile Sabru offers a balanced flavor profile with mild bitterness and a hint of sweetness. It's designed to be easy drinking and enjoyable in the warm Seychellois weather. Alcohol Content Sabru usually has an alcohol by volume, ABV, content of around 4% to 5%, making it a moderate strength beer. Appearance It typically has a pale golden color and a clear appearance. Aromas You can expect subtle malt aromas with hints of hops. Food Pairing Sabru pairs well with a variety of Seychellois dishes, including grilled seafood, Creole cuisine, and tropical fruits. It's a great complement to the local culinary experience. Sabru beer is often found in bars, restaurants, and hotels throughout Seychelles, and it's a popular choice for both locals and tourists looking to relax and enjoy a cold beer in the beautiful surroundings of the islands. It's a symbol of the Seychellois way of life, characterized by its laid-back, tropical vibes. Octopus Curry a seafood curry made with tender octopus and aromatic spices. Octopus curry is a delicious seafood dish that's enjoyed in various coastal regions around the world, including Seychelles. It's known for its rich, flavorful sauce and tender octopus pieces. Here's a basic recipe for preparing octopus curry. Ingredients 500 grams, about 1 pound, of octopus, cleaned and cut into bite-sized pieces. 2 to 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. 1 onion, finely chopped. 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 inch piece of ginger, minced. 2 tomatoes, chopped. 1 to 2 green chilies, chopped, adjust to your preferred level of spiciness. 1 teaspoon of curry powder. 1 half teaspoon of turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon of ground cumin. 1 teaspoon of ground coriander. 1 half teaspoon of paprika, optional, for color. 1 can, 400 milliliters, of coconut milk salt and black pepper to taste fresh cilantro leaves for garnish instructions prepare the octopus if you're using fresh octopus clean it thoroughly by removing the beak and any entrails cut the octopus into bite-sized pieces if you're using frozen octopus ensure it's fully thawed and drained saute the aromatics heat the vegetable oil in a large deep skillet or pot over medium heat add the chopped onions minced garlic and minced ginger Sauté until the onions become soft and translucent. Add the spices. Stir in the curry powder, turmeric powder, ground cumin, ground coriander, and paprika, if using. Cook for a minute or two to toast the spices and release their flavors. Cook the octopus. Add the octopus pieces to the pot and cook for about 5 to 7 minutes, stirring occasionally until they start to change color and firm up. Add tomatoes and green chilies. Add the chopped tomatoes and green chilies to the pot. Cook for another 5 minutes or until the tomatoes soften and release their juices. Pour in coconut milk. Pour in the coconut milk and stir to combine. Bring the mixture to a simmer. Simmer and season. Reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let the curry simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes, or until the octopus becomes tender. Stir occasionally. Season the curry with salt and black pepper to taste. Garnish and serve. Once the octopus is tender and the flavors have melded, remove the curry from heat. Garnish with fresh cilantro leaves. Serve. Octopus curry is typically served with rice or crusty bread to soak up the flavorful sauce. Grilled fish. Freshly caught fish grilled and served with a variety of sauces. Grilled fish is a popular and healthy dish enjoyed in many coastal regions, including Seychelles. It's a simple yet flavorful way to prepare fish, highlighting its natural taste and texture. Here's a basic recipe for preparing grilled fish. Ingredients. Whole fish, such as snapper, grouper, or any local fish available, cleaned and scaled, or fish fillets. Olive oil or vegetable oil. Salt and freshly ground black pepper. Lemon wedges, for serving. Fresh herbs, such as parsley or cilantro, for garnish, optional. 
Instructions. Preheat the grill. Start by preheating your grill to medium-high heat. Clean and oil the grill grates to prevent the fish from sticking. Prepare the fish. If using whole fish, make sure they're cleaned and scaled. You can also make diagonal cuts on both sides of the fish, which helps it cook more evenly and allows the flavor to penetrate. If using fish fillets, ensure they're fresh and have been patted dry with a paper towel. Season the fish. Drizzle the fish with olive oil or vegetable oil to prevent sticking and add a subtle flavor. Season the fish generously with salt and freshly ground black pepper. You can also add other seasonings or herbs if you like, such as garlic powder, paprika, or dried herbs. Grill the fish. Place the fish directly on the preheated grill grates. Grill the fish for about 3 to 5 minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the fish and the heat of the grill. It's crucial not to overcook the fish. It should be just opaque and easily flake with a fork. If you're grilling whole fish, you can gently flip them using a spatula or tongs. Be careful not to break the fish. Serve the grilled fish. Once the fish is cooked to your desired doneness, remove it from the grill. Squeeze fresh lemon juice over the grilled fish to add brightness and enhance the flavors. Garnish with fresh herbs like parsley or cilantro if desired. Coconut slices. Slices of fresh coconut, a refreshing snack. Coconut slices are a delightful and tropical snack enjoyed in many coastal regions, including Seychelles. These sweet and chewy treats are made from fresh coconut and are a popular choice for satisfying your sweet tooth. Here's a basic recipe for preparing coconut slices. Ingredients. 1 fresh coconut. You'll need the flesh. 1 cup of sugar. 1 quarter cup of water. A pinch of salt. 1 half teaspoon of vanilla extract, optional. Instructions. Prepare the coconut. Crack open the fresh coconut and collect the white flesh. You can use a knife or a coconut scraper to remove the flesh from the shell. Rinse the coconut flesh to remove any remaining husk or debris. Grate the coconut. Grate the coconut flesh using the fine side of a grater or a food processor. You want finely grated coconut for this recipe. Prepare the sugar syrup. In a saucepan, combine the sugar, water, and a pinch of salt. You can also add vanilla extract for extra flavor if desired. Heat the mixture over medium heat, stirring until the sugar dissolves completely. Bring it to a gentle boil. Let the sugar syrup simmer for about 2 to 3 minutes, or until it starts to thicken slightly. You don't want it to turn into caramel, it should remain a clear syrup. Combine coconut and sugar syrup. Add the finely grated coconut to the sugar syrup. Stir well to combine, ensuring that the coconut is evenly coated with the syrup. Cook the coconut mixture. Reduce the heat to low and continue to cook the coconut mixture, stirring constantly. The goal is to evaporate the moisture from the coconut and allow it to absorb the sugar syrup. Continue cooking and stirring for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until the coconut mixture becomes thick and starts to come away from the sides of the pan. Shape and cool. Remove the coconut mixture from the heat. While it's still warm, shape it into small squares or rectangles, pressing it firmly together. Cool and set. Let the coconut slices cool completely. They will firm up as they cool. Serve. Once the coconut slices are completely cool and set, you can enjoy them as a sweet and chewy snack. Storage. Store the coconut slices in an airtight container at room temperature for several days. They can also be refrigerated to extend their shelf life. Coconut slices are a wonderful treat that captures the tropical essence of Seychelles. They are not only delicious but also a great way to enjoy the natural flavor of coconut. Barbecued Chicken Grilled chicken with a variety of flavorful seasonings. Barbecued chicken is a popular and flavorful dish enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Seychelles. It's known for its smoky, tangy, and slightly sweet flavor, often achieved through grilling and basting with barbecue sauce. Here's a basic recipe for preparing barbecued chicken. Ingredients For the chicken Chicken pieces, such as drumsticks, thighs, or wings. Olive oil or vegetable oil for brushing. Salt and freshly ground black pepper. For the barbecue sauce. 1 cup of ketchup. 1 quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. 1 tablespoon of Dijon mustard. 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, or regular paprika. 1 half teaspoon of garlic powder. 1 half teaspoon of onion powder salt and black pepper to taste instructions prepare the barbecue sauce in a saucepan combine all the barbecue sauce ingredients 
ketchup, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, Dijon mustard, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. Stir well to combine. Simmer the sauce. Place the saucepan over medium heat and bring the mixture to a simmer. Reduce the heat to low and let the sauce simmer gently for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it thickens slightly. Stir occasionally to prevent burning. Once the sauce has thickened to your liking, remove it from heat and set it aside. This will be your barbecue sauce. Prepare the chicken. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Clean and oil the grill grates to prevent sticking. Brush the chicken pieces with olive oil or vegetable oil to prevent sticking and to help achieve a nice grill marks. Season the chicken generously with salt and freshly ground black pepper. Grill the chicken. Place the seasoned chicken pieces on the preheated grill. Grill the chicken for about 6 to 8 minutes per side, depending on the size and thickness of the pieces. Turn the chicken occasionally to ensure even cooking. About 5 minutes before the chicken is done, start basting it with the barbecue sauce. Use a brush to apply a generous layer of sauce on each side of the chicken. Continue to cook until the chicken is fully cooked, with no pink in the center and the juices run clear. The internal temperature of the chicken should reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit, 74 degrees Celsius. Serve the barbecued chicken. Once the chicken is cooked to perfection, remove it from the grill. Let the chicken rest for a few minutes before serving.